Hi guys, welcome to another Transforms toy review. This time I'm having a look at Ironhide from the Siege line. Here he is in his robot mode. I'll uh, run through a few bits and then show you all the instructions and everything else that goes with him. Just uh, adjust the camera slightly. He's quite a big, chunky bot. Um, he's got uh, this kind of hammer that he comes with. You can peg on sort of blast effects on the front or the back here. There's various sort of added paintwork to it to make it a bit more battle damage. It rotates in his fist fine and then you take it out and move that a bit forward and then it becomes a rifle or heavy artillery weapon which you can hold in his gun and you can just kind of point it out like that. So you get him on the on the battlefield doing some serious damage to the Decepticons. You can also peg it onto his shoulder if you want. Get him like he's holding it that way if you like. Uh, he's got various other ports in and around him as well where you can plug on either this or different weapons. So I think when I come around to reviewing six gun, he's the one that they show on the packaging kind of all armoured up with his bits and pieces. So I'll probably do that with this guy. So that's his gun. It's got the gold, uh, gold, red round here and even some silver paint in here. And again, you can add, add on the little blast effects onto here or on the back here in the kind of hammer mode. The figure himself is done nicely. It's a great little head sculpt there. Really represents the kind of G1 Ironhide in terms of sculpting and the kind of look on his face. I think that's really good. You've got silver in there with blue paint for the eyes, which works lovely. And a little bit of battle damage on the on the face there, which is nicely done. It's not too much. Uh, there isn't loads of battle damage on the on the figure in total, most of it is kind of on the bottom half here, so nothing on the arms or this kind of chest section, see through plastic in here, Autobot symbol on the side here, this is red and grey plastic here, articulation wise the head rotates all the way around, uh, can get a little bit side to side for confused dog up and down, you do get waist articulation which is pretty sturdy. The arms go all the way around, out to the side, rotate around here, and I go up to there. There's a little bit of uh, hollowness in there. The fists do rotate around, like so. View from the back here, you've got more ports to put things. Hollowness in the arms here, and in here as well. You've got another peg where you can pop a gun and a peg for a display stand as well. The legs go all the way up to there, all the way back, and all the way out to the side here as well. You get waist, uh, a swivel here, sorry. Nice bend in the knee, goes up to there. Little bit of red paint on the front here. Silver down here on the bottom of the legs, and then this way you get the battle damage. Most of it is on the feet down here and it swivels out like that. So you do get plenty of foot articulation there. It doesn't go move forward or back, it's just out to the side. And another peg here, uh, should you want to sort of add anything down on the bottom here, which uh, will come in handy for this six gun review. So uh, that's him in robot mode. And I think it's a pretty decent representation of the figure, I would say. A uh, really good updated kind of Cybertron mode. Uh, what we'll do next is just take a look at some of the packaging bits and pieces. So you've got uh, this, I always cut these out, but a very good picture of him in robot mode. Stomping his way through Cybertron. Again, you've got him here in robot mode. I think that's a really good pose that they've got him in there shooting his gun, 
getting ready to blow up some Decepticons. Here with the hammer as well, I think we showed that in the last review, you can put that blast effect on there. And just shows you the compatibility with the other figures in the line. 14 steps for transformation. And in the instruction manual itself, nothing out of the ordinary. They do show you how you can use all the battle masters with it. And also as well, the different guns, well, the gun and the, the kind of hammer option there as well. Okay, so we've got everything there. Next up, we're getting transformed and I'll have a look at him in vehicle mode. Right, so here we are, got him in his robot mode. Let's get him transformed. Um, I've been done this a couple of times, so hopefully I remember how to do it. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think this whole chest section comes up out here like that. Or not. Ah, head bit comes forward. That folds into there. So, that comes forward here. This is gonna rotate around, I believe, from memory. Yes, yeah, so that whole section here rotates around. This bit here seems to be slightly in the way, so I'm not sure if I have to rotate that around. No. Probably right the first time. Move these back over here, into there like that. These are gonna peg into each other. So, so I'll just make swiveling around nice and easy. Then this bit's gonna be the front and you're just gonna peg, move that into that section there. Just do nicely. Gonna bring the legs up here. These bits are gonna fold around and these legs will open up like that. Uh, I don't think this bit folds in at all. I think you leave that bit out. The same on this side. Oh, the bits come off. Fold it like this. The two legs will peg together. So you can see the little peg in the middle there. On here, you just want to bring this down. It looks as if oh. so these bits will peg into the side of the vehicle. There's a little slot in here, like that. And then on this other side here as well, like that. And then this will peg into there. It's a side. And that into the side of Ironhide on that side as well. And I think that is him all done. So a couple of bits just popped out there. Just checking it's all done. Yeah, then you've got him in his vehicle mode. I think that's pretty good. Um, you've even got a little bit of gold in there. The silver kind of battle damage to the front, which uh, works out quite well. Not done too much on that. Um, obviously, the bit of battle damage that they had in robot mode then comes around to the back. Um, so it's not too bad. There's nothing on the wheels, unfortunately. There's no paint on there, which is unfortunately missed out on that. But uh, the front looks pretty good. Obviously, you've got the head sort of hidden away there, but... Uh, I don't think that's too bad or anything else like that. And um, then, I mean, you've got a few places where the gun can go. I've just seen what they put on the instructions. Yeah, on the instructions, where they put it is they just pop it on one, on one of these. Like that. So you can do that. Obviously, you can pick on either side. So can have it a bit further back if you want to. Um, so it's just the four main slots on there. That's the only places really where you're gonna gonna pop them. Um, 
Looks like as if you've got ports on there where you can put some weapons on the back potentially. And uh, that's about it. He rolls nice. I think it's a pretty good kind of Cybertronian version of a kind of red truck, which is essentially what Ironhide is. Kind of armoured truck. I look, think it looks good. I'm kind of wondering it, how many other uses of this mould they're probably going to get. Obviously they're going to do Ratchet. Do you think they'll do a cup as well? I'm not too sure. But uh, anyway, it's a good figure, well worth picking up. Um, miles better than the Combiner Wars, Ironhide and the Generations one. So if you're looking for a Chug Ironhide, this is the one to go for, definitely. Um, you know, you can still keep the, if you've still got the Combiner Wars Ironhide, it's worth keeping. Perhaps just have him in combined mode or something like that. But uh, in terms of an actual one that you'd have on display, and it's either robot or vehicle mode, this is the one to get. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon. Plenty more reviews coming up. Next is going to be Six Gun. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.